Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist, and welcome back to Will You Press the Button with me and Phil. How are you doing over there, Phil, on Skype? Hello. Hey, um, there he is. Will you press the button? So, will you, Andrew? Um, I don't know. We'll Boom. have to see. And the world explodes. Oh, yeah, that's wow. it. Okay. The big, the big red button. That's what the uh, US president's got in his Oval Office. Yes. The big red button. The big red uh, button. That explodes everything. Mm, it just explodes everything. Basically, he presses it, and the whole world blows up, and that's it. That's all he has yeah. to do. Imagine yes. that. <laughs> it doesn't oh, do anything else. No. And yeah. in the meantime, you know, all these advisors are sort of sat around and going, "Why did we put this button in the office again? What's the point of this button?" <laughs> yes. Because it, it it gives you it gives you the power of everything. Candy. Candy. Uh, okay. Sweeties. 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 So the Imagine Earth is like that. a big piñata. Is that what you're saying? That we blow up Smack the Earth? It. Oh God, piñatas! Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I know. <laughs> right, you're going to start yeah. us off then, Andrew. I'll start us off then. So, Phil, the conundrum is as follows: the opposite sex finds you really attractive, but you're homosexual. Uh, I mean, my initial inclination straight off the bat here is, what's the point of pressing that button then? If, you know, yeah. let's say you're like heterosexual and you want the opposite sex to find you attractive, then well, you wouldn't press that button, would you? Because then you'd just be in the same situation, except this time it's the same sex of, as you that's just not paying any attention to you. <laughs> so Yeah, but so yeah. They, they may find you attractive, but you're not really interested. Yeah, exactly. If you prefer the same sex. Indeed. Yeah, so, so it's, uh, what's the point of that exactly? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's not, not a great deal of point with yeah. that either. I would um, go will not uh, then on that yes, one. Yes, I think uh, seems we'll start pointless. with a will not. Yeah. There we go. And uh, yeah, we're in the majority you know there. What I was, mm. You know what I was watching recently? Oh, go ahead. Our uh, Would You Rather with the oh. Bean Boozle. Oh, yeah. Oh, Gosh, God. it's been a while. <laughs> oh, God. The uh, the taste of those. I still remember them to this day, actually. I still yeah. do remember some of the tastes of them. Oh, Indeed. They were vile. I can still sort of uh, have that link. Well, sometimes I still get that lingering memory of the aftertaste of some of yeah. those uh, flavours. I remember the worst one for you, because I, I watched it recently, was the uh, Baby Wipes. Oh, God, yeah, that was horrible, that one. <laughs> I think they've introduced some new flavours. I think there's one, uh, Strawberry Milkshake, which oh, right. is a good one, and the bad one is Rotten Fish. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Bad Eggs one was uh, always quite a horrible one. Oh, God, the Rotten Eggs. That was yeah. my worst one. <laughs> the Rotten Eggs one. The Rotten Eggs were buttered popcorn. Indeed. Oh. Oh, the vomit God. one was always a bit sort of like acrid, um, and then like the dog food one that wasn't very nice either. You know what? I think I think next time I come over, I think we should do it. With Will you press the button? Okay. We'll have, a, we'll have a, another bean boozled challenge. Okay, another uh, bean boozled. <laughs> yeah, I think that you find them in the American section of supermarkets. Yeah. Uh, so we'll give it we'll give it a try. Indeed. Yeah. So okay, well, <laughs> Phil's okay. thrown down the gauntlet there, so uh, we yeah. have to do that now that uh, you've said it. <laughs> so there we go. Do now. Indeed. On to the next okay. one. There you go. Can you read right. that one? So, Andrew, we're going to become the best guitarist ever. If anyone is able to hear you playing, you can only play that one riff from Smoke on the Water until they leave. Okay, that's... Oh. Uh, mm. Now, right. that one riff on Smoke on the Water, it's quite a popular one. It's yeah. the, uh, the one that goes... Yes, I recognise that. Da, da, da. Yeah, that's that one. the one. So that's it's good to become the best, but you can only ever play... That, that one. one. So when yeah. you're on your own, you uh, can play if anything. no one is able to hear you playing. You can play anything else. But yeah. as soon as someone, that would be really funny because you'd be like, uh, you'd just be sitting there and then someone walks in <laughs> straight into smoke on the water. <laughs> oh shit! I don't want to play this. Can you fucking leave the room, please? Yeah, I always think that would be actually be quite hard to um, be able to play the guitar without someone hearing because uh, well, it depends on where you're playing. You'd have to find yourself somewhere fairly soundproof. A completely and, isolated. Yeah, box. <laughs> indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Put yourself uh, in a porta potty. In a porta potty. Yeah. yeah. Play on the John. There we go. But then um, you can't express your skills to anyone, can you? Uh, not can't really. Be Jimi Hendrix. No, that's the thing. Yeah. yeah, you're stuck. You're just playing the one song. You can't do any of your own creative work. It's so boring. Mm, yeah. It would. So. Nah. Yeah, I'm not. thinking will not as well. And, and but, plus, um, you can you can you, if you will not, you just become an average guitarist, which is yeah. fine because they can play some good good yeah, songs. You can still yeah. play some good stuff. Will not. Uh, we are in the majority there. I sometimes think. Um, you know, it would have been interesting as a kid probably to try and actually learn an instrument. Um, it was the thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, lots of lots of people did try to learn an instrument, and some some had the pressure from the parents. Actually. Yeah. Like the default ones were the the ones you always see, people always seem to go to was piano and guitar. Yeah. In my primary school, also clarinet was like a big one um, as well. Um, a few kids used to do that one, and then of course uh, you know there was always the, the recorder. <laughs> Remember the recorder oh, in primary God, school? Oh God, the recorder. My sister's done the uh, flute. 
Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. On the flute. I think usually like wind instruments, they start you on the recorder, don't they? And then like they move you God, on yeah. up to something bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. It's like a very much a school instrument that the recorder. The recorder. Yes. I remember yeah. whenever you go in the music class, you'd always do that, wouldn't Indeed. you? Indeed. Yeah. Right. Uh, on to the next one then. So you can have anything you want with a snap of your fingers, but you'll die at the age of thirty. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, having said that, I, mean, I think like. Well, you're, position... you're, you are you are thirty. Yeah, I am thirty. Oh shit! Oh shit! I turn I turn thirty on Friday. Yeah. So for us two, it's pointless because um, there's no point in pressing this button because that'll just be us dead pretty quickly. <laughs> you'll be yeah, you'll be dead straight away, and yeah. I'll die on Friday. Yeah, exactly. Oh god. Um... So I would say will not. <laughs> I think it's yeah, like, you know, will not. you can still I don't know. I, I think still lead a fairly decent life. Um, Without the need for just having everything at your fingertips with just a snap of your and both fingers. Both me and you, both me and you are having good lives at the moment. Yeah, you know? we're, we're, do, we're, we're comfortable. We've got, we've got where good we jobs. Are. We've got good houses. We've yeah. got you know things like that. All all I need to up my game is relationship because I, I really do want a relationship. Yeah. New year, I think new start for me. Yeah. So and it, I need to get there. Get yourself Absolutely. out there, indeed. Yeah. So yeah, I think you know the two of us, like you say, we're in pretty comfortable positions in our lives. So it's will not from us. Yeah. So, it's been all will not at the moment. It has, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and we're in the majority once again, 58%. We're in the majority of no beans, Indeed. which is well. Yeah. We're taking a single bean yet. Well, we wouldn't have done. No. Right. <laughs> Next okay. uh, for us there. Gain the power to change reality. Become a superhero or emperor. Remake the world as you see fit. But you lose everything you had in your old life. So that includes family, friends, memories, and dreams. Mm, okay. Um, Jeez, that's quite a, it's quite quite a, a conundrum there. It is, isn't it? Um, so I'm assuming... You don't have the power then to, like, clone your family, friends, and all that, just to sort of get the loophole. No, but, it's no. just um, you can change reality to what you use. Well, that's but that's basically gone. yeah. Yeah, basically you sort of become a god. Yeah. But remake the world as you see fit. Mm. That's that could cause a lot of issues. It, it could turn you into a villain. Yeah. <laughs> sort of villainous, isn't it? In a Indeed. way. Indeed. Oh shit! Press the button then. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but you lose everything. You lose your family, your friends. Yeah. You'll never see me again. You'll never see your parents again. Yeah. And all the memories and dreams you had when you were younger. You know the times when you went to those uh, uh, Kefalonia and all that. And gone. Oh yes. You all the happy now. memories in life. All yeah. that's gone. All that gone. Well, it's a will not from me then. Uh, in that yeah, case, it is a yeah, it is will not. We're still on um, very much the will not. Because you become, you could become overconsumed by power. Yeah, remake the world as you see fit. Yes, people yeah. can get a bit crazy with the, that if um, they're left unchecked. Well, look what happens with um, some some video game antagonists that try to do that, try yeah. to remake the world. You one notable one was I think from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. All right. The main villain of that game tried to remake the world with the. Uh, uh, with these Pokemon that could essentially do that, and he tried, he tried to do that. But obviously, you take him down before that happens. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's not yeah. good. <laughs> Sounds like quite a gritty storyline for uh, mm, Pokemon yeah. Diamond and Pearl in that one. Yeah, <laughs> I always sort of think of Pokemon as being like the very sort of family-friendly uh, franchise. Um, but uh, no, it's, yeah. there are some dark themes as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's always funny that when you have like a. Um, Franchise or some like a series or something that looks very sort of colourful, bright, and kid friendly on the outside. Then you play it and suddenly, or you know, you delve into it and you suddenly realise, oh, oh my, there's actually some really dark undertones to this. Yeah, well, yeah, the, um, there was that one occasion where uh, Peter. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Didn't like him. Decided to make their own version called Pokemon Black and Blue. Yeah, which is basically where they. Uh, uh, they got them and basically they tried to beat up the trainers to show that you shouldn't be taking yeah. animals like this. And the front cover was um, Pokemon with bruises all over them. Yeah. Honestly, Peter take everything out out of context to the to the extremes. Really. Yeah. They are getting a bit annoying nowadays. Yeah. Will not then. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with will not. Um, slim a majority, but okay. But still a majority. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, you. Have sex with the women you love, but you have to watch a little girl show for three hours with her. I mean, what, what does it mean by a little girl show? Oh, what, what something, for instance, like, like uh, my maybe little like, pony. Yeah. My, <laughs> sort of. Oh, don't say that, Andrew. <laughs> don't say that because obviously got the bronies. No, don't say oh, it. Oh, like Dora the Explorer or something like that. Oh God, Dora hey, the Explorer. <laughs> have sex with the woman you love, but yeah. you have to watch Dora the Explorer. I'm fine with that. You know what? Yeah, it doesn't for matter. Had sex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pressing the that woman button you love then. As well. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. okay. Press that. Boom. Yep, we're in the majority there. I think 66. that's the first time we've actually pressed the button. Yeah, it is, yeah. actually. <laughs> I mean, not much really to think about that. I mean, having said that, you know, the thing is, if it's... I mean, three hours sounds like a long time, but actually... Um, 
probably not that long. Um, you probably can stomach yeah. it, can't you? Yeah. Well, if you get one of those shows that uh, like have half an hour episodes each, yeah, you know, you don't have to watch uh, six, four, four of them, four yeah. episodes. Yeah, yeah. Like indeed, that. four, so six ish, isn't it? Because it's like six episodes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Three hours. Yeah, two in each hour. Oh, look at our math skills. Yes. So, we become the most beautiful person in the world, but everyone forgets you after one second of not seeing you. Okay, um, I mean, <laughs> to be honest, um, the thing is, like, you'd have to stay in uh, everyone's line of sight then, wouldn't you? Pretty much permanently. Yeah, so they, they, they would forget completely. That would include mm. your family and friends. Yeah, so it that's would. That's not good. You've done the most beautiful. They'd be like, oh, hello, and then as soon as, the, as soon as they don't see you anymore, that's it, gone. Yeah, exactly. So, sounds like a will not to me, personally. Yeah, yeah. yeah you don't want your family to forget you or your friends. Indeed. Will not. Will not. <clears throat> there we are. Oh, yeah, stonking majority there. My God, we've been in the majority all the time. Yeah, see. If we were doing the Bean Boozer Challenge, we wouldn't be taking anything yeah, yet. It'd be a nice, uh, pleasant experience so far. So far, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, okay. On to the next one, then. Um, you will win $100,000, but you have to run 2,000 miles. I mean... Okay, uh, it doesn't say now, you have to do all those 2,000 in one go. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I was about to say, because if yeah. you did, you'd probably drop down dead. Yeah, you would, um, <laughs> indeed. Because um, 2,000 miles is about... Isn't that like something like here to Australia? Um, oh, no, no, so that's about 8,000. Yeah. So it would probably be about here to maybe France, Germany. Oh, no, it'd be more than that. Um, it'd be way more okay. than that, I think. Bulgaria? I think it'd probably something of, probably like around the equivalent of like running across the Atlantic Ocean and maybe a bit further, something right. like that, from like here to I America. Suppose you, I suppose you could do it if you if you allow brakes and stuff. There's nothing to say you aren't allowed brakes. Yeah, hey, exactly. Thousand dollars, well, or probably about ninety. That's probably about ninety thousand. Yeah, pounds. that's quite a fair deal of it's, money. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Okay. Run 2,000 miles. And hey, that running that 2,000 miles will get, keep you fit, won't it? Yeah, it would actually, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. purely on the basis that there seem to be some loopholes here, we can press that button probably. Yeah, let's yeah. press it. Okay, press that button. There we Majority go. Majority again. Majority again. Ex- excellent. Right. On to the next one then. Right, so you get to have the most beautiful woman in the world. Oh, another one, another type of these. But she's only beautiful when other people are around. When it's just you and her, she is ugly. <laughs> Stop this. It's not all about looks, is Indeed. it? Indeed, yes. Personality <laughs> is a key feature yeah. to, to a person as well. There's been quite a few That is absolutely these, fine. Mm, right, we have the beautiful person in the world, but she's only beautiful when other people are around. Yeah, you know, uh, don't be shallow and all that, exactly. Yeah. Isn't that... That's that similar, similar to that film Shallow Hal. Yes, that's the uh, one, where isn't he it? gets hypnotised into seeing this girl who's who, in his eyes, is ridiculously beautiful, but to everyone else, she's um, she hasn't got the hasn't got the beauty. Apparently, she, she's, yeah. she's fat, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Uh, I think. Yeah, I remember that film. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time since I saw Shallow it. Shallow Hal, indeed. Yeah. yeah. But so, um, but yeah, it's yeah. not all about looks. Indeed. So, Personality and and things like that are a key factor important. as well. So. Yeah. That's fine. Indeed, an actual connection between yourself and yeah. your partner. So we're going uh, potentially a will not on this yeah. one. Yeah. Um, yeah, indeed. Because uh, we're trying not to be shallow. There we go. Yeah. Oh, 69. <laughs> the perfect number for a question about uh, love and all that. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Then. How childish okay. of me. Um, this is a weird one. You will become a blue robot, but you will have no memory of your past life. So what's the benefit of becoming a blue robot exactly? I just am a robot that happens to be blue. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, I like my colour. <laughs> Abadi Abadai, whoever it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Good song, that. Yeah, yeah it's a, a classic 90s anthem, isn't it? It is. Oh, yes. It's like, I think, I, yeah. I believe it was a one hit wonder. Yeah. Um, yeah, because actually, come to think of it, I can't think of any other songs that Eiffel 65 has ever done <laughs> other than that one. I can, I can think of a few, yeah, but I remember yeah. back in school. We actually used to have a dance class, oh, right. and it was always that song. Was it always that one? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, okay. I don't see. No, yeah. I think will not really. Indeed. It's... I don't want to lose memory of my past life. No. Well. <laughs> and what? And like I say, what, what's the benefit of being a blue robot here? That just seems so random. <laughs> okay. That seems just a bit on the random side. That one will not. And uh, we are in the majority, yep. though. Apparently, twenty-six percent of people fancy being a blue robot fancy for some being a blue reason. Robot. Bad enough for being a human. Okay. I don't know. If, is there like some meme or something here that we're missing that we're not getting? I, I don't, don't know. know. Yeah. yeah, I'm usually good with memes, but I don't yeah. know about a blue robot. Okay. Yeah. 
so we never have hiccups for the rest of our life, but you feel like you need to sneeze and are not able to. Oh, so like, oh, uh, oh God, no. that's awful. Yeah. <laughs> that's awful. Having that, oh, when you have that sneeze. Indeed. And you just can't get it out of your nose. Yeah, oh. you've got that sort of itchy feeling and you feel like it's coming, but it won't come. No, I, like I can there. deal with having some hiccups. Yeah, hiccups can I be can resolved. Have... There are ways to yeah. sort of, you know, get rid of them. Um, so I would say will not on this yeah. one. I that sneezing thing is just a while, actually. Yeah. I believe it's where your um, uh, hiccups is where your your diaphragm sort of gets raised a bit. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. think it's like it's sort of out of time a bit. It's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, um, hiccups. Yeah, yeah. We're in the majority. Um, yeah, everyone can see that. That indeed. oh, it's a horrible sensation. Yeah. Okay, on to the uh, next one then, I guess. Right. Uh, right. You become the most beautiful, richest, smartest, most loved person ever, but you are blind, deaf, and can no longer walk. Well, I would say will not personally, because what's the point of being all this if basically you have to do, you have to have that um, impact on your life? Um, yeah, can't see anything, can't hear anything. Yeah, anything and there's more, you know, to life. You can still have a um, pretty good life without any of these top things. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to be the most well, beautiful can, or the richest could, or whatever. The mm. bit where you can no longer walk, you can obviously, you've got the use of, yeah. you can use a wheelchair for that. Indeed. So I suppose that works there. Yeah. There are things now which help deaf people actually hear and the mm. things are blind to get some people there are some things uh, scientists are looking into to restore your sight but yeah. still it's still bad to, to look into and you don't have to be the most beautiful richest smartest person no, ever you don't yeah. so personally I would say will not uh, yeah it just seems like there's no point to it my yeah. god we've been in the majority every we had well, not yeah. one we've been in the minority yet god we're such a bunch of conformists aren't we? we're a pair yeah. of conformists aren't we Phil hopefully uh, <laughs> we'll perform like this when it comes to being beers or challenge because yeah. we'd, be, we'd be on a winner indeed on to the next one then um, to you isn't it I think or is it me uh, no I think it's you it's yeah, me yeah. isn't it alright travel time uh, travel time like it was nothing I think uh, does that mean travel through time like it was nothing it was like it was an I app so. god this is spelt weird like it was an app your your mind but constantly have to do things to keep balance in your life by going back and being the reason your parents were killed when you were what the fuck is this your parents were killed when you were five this one they is weird. They weren't when you were five, unless this is something like a Batman reference. Yeah, well. Because they have to do things to keep balance in your life by going back and being the reason your parents were killed when you were five. So, hang on, like. So it's saying. Like, let me see. Have I bought it correctly? So, so you, you can get... travel through time, like like it, like it, using an app. Yeah. So you can basically go through time. But you have to keep sort of like a balance between various things. Otherwise, okay. uh, your parents might die. Right. Your parents will die when you're yeah. five. Yeah, the wording of this makes... one is a bit. All yeah. over the place. Which means sure we'll be wiped out of existence. Okay, so we'll we'll not then, right? Because <laughs> it's just why? Yeah. yeah, yeah, indeed. Um, so we'll not that then. Yeah, yeah. Let's get beyond yeah. that one because the wording of it is a bit confusing. Yeah, that was a bit strange. That one. Yeah, it okay. was. On to right. the next conundrum. Indeed. Uh, so we get free ice cream Ooh. for the rest of our life whenever we want. We have to eat an earthworm before each time we eat an ice cream. I'm happy with that. Fine yeah. with that. <laughs> You're fine with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it might be disgusting, but yeah. uh, well, here's the thing: time, yeah. doesn't say you have to eat it raw and fresh out the ground. You know, you could uh, look wash online, it. yeah, wash cook it, it, cook it. Yeah, I'm sure you could probably find some way of making it more palatable. Probably. Yeah, it might be disgusting, but it, there's nothing that says you, can, you can't put anything around it to make it. Yeah, like you said, just whenever you feel like a free ice cream, fantastic. Yeah. I'm sure there's probably like cultures out there uh, in mm. the world. You know, because obviously, like some cultures where uh, yeah, Chinese towards, street market, yeah, they things have, like that. Uh, they have things like you know, insects, like cockroaches on things sticks, like that. yeah, insects on Indeed. sticks. That yeah. sort of squeamishness around eating creepy crawlies—that's very much, I think, like a Western thing. But yeah. you know, in other cultures, they find ways of actually taking like art. Yeah, and apparently, like that, stuff like that really crunchy. I remember yeah. watching. Do you remember an idiot abroad? Oh Carl yeah, Carl Pilkington. Yeah, he mm. went when he the one where he went to go visit the Great Wall of China. He went to try the yeah. um, a street market, but the brother, it was so funny because it's like all these people eating, and he just like was like not having it and sat at a table eating a packet of Monster Munch. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's the so thing, funny. though. Like, it's interesting because um, what with you know you know issues in today's world obviously like climate problems and sort of you know big sort of population increases things like that there are like genuine uh, calls from some quarters to say that you know people in the west should sort of get over perhaps their squeamishness and think about you know using like meat based diets that come from insects and things like that for like protein sources yeah. and things like that just to kind of keep up with um, you know those kind of issues so yeah, yeah this, things so, can be useful so <laughs> yeah. if you feel like ooh I could do with a lovely chocolate magnum oh 
Well, here's me earthworm. <laughs> there you go. Here's me chocolate magnum. Suck yeah. it down. There we go. Right, I'm pressing yes, the button then, aren't we? Button. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Oh, this would be our first uh, bean oh, that we have to... Oh, first minority. Uh, wow, yeah. done so well so far. But, oh, people would not prefer to eat the earthworm. OK, they're not really thinking here. No, they're not. Well, that would be okay. uh, a potential um, horrible one for us yes. then. But uh, we'll okay. see. OK, you go back in time and kill Hitler and become the most known person in the world, but you'll be shot and never wake up again. Ooh, <laughs> OK. Uh, the ultimate altruistic question, could you sort of yes, sacrifice but, yourself? But, mm. but let's think about this. This could create other paradoxes. Yeah, it what could. Happens if, it's, like, it's like the thing, what happens if someone did go and kill Hitler? I mean, there was multiple attempts on assassinating him, you know, yeah. including poisonings and things like that. What would have happened? Yeah, Indeed. Like, uh, would the Soviet Union have risen up and uh, tried to take over? <laughs> That's basically yeah. the plot of Command and Conquer Red Alert. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I thought I'd call that from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that's where you probably got it from. Yeah, it's uh, that one. So there's things like that could happen and uh, other things. There's also, like, the actual sort of time sort of grandfather paradox itself in that, you know, if you were to kill Hitler, then that would sort of change the timeline in a way where basically when you're born, that means Hitler has been erased from the timeline. So therefore, there will be no knowledge of Hitler to begin with. In which case, yes. how can you then go back and kill Hitler if yeah, there's no knowledge of him? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, we don't want to be shot and basically never no. wake up again. You don't want that. I think so, this will not. It's probably will not. Yeah. So <laughs> basically, what we're saying is we leave Hitler alive. <laughs> yeah. Well, it could cause even worse consequences. You never know. It could cause better could consequences. Yeah. But... There you go. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're actually in the majority there, so probably a Huge lot of people majority. were thinking along the same lines as us, I'm guessing. There you go, yeah. Right, uh, okay. To the next one. You can be a character of your favourite movie, series, uh, what's that other one? Anime Something... or game. Oh, anime or game. Uh, but you become the most pathetic character. Hang on, so... Wait, ha wait, that, that doesn't make sense, because he's saying you can be... A character. Oh no! No, no hang on! No, I'm yeah, thinking it's something character, wrong. Not the main character. Yeah, that's what I'm sorry. I, I was getting a bit sidetracked in my head. Uh, then. So let's actually let's have a little um, go through this. So, so Andrew, what, what's your what's your favourite movie? Or if Ooh. you can't pick, hey, what's a movie you really like? A movie that and, I really like. Oh, God, and then we have to think who's the <laughs> pathetic character because <laughs> I've not watched a lot of movies. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I probably actually it'd be better with me like asking about games rather than movies, but um Okay, well let's just, yeah. let's just do it with games then. Yeah. Okay. Um I'm trying to think for example like of a game or like a series that has lots of like really standout characters. Well your favourite game your favourite game really of all time is Return to Castle Wolf Yeah, Shine, That's what so Who's the most pathetic character? <laughs> probably, one, probably one of the Nazis who you kill. Probably like some no. piddling little engineer who you go behind a knife in the back or something like that. Who's like a yeah. one-shot instant kill enemy. That would probably be right, so, the so most you, pathetic you character. Have I have to be, be that. Then. So it's probably not worth it then. Probably not. Okay, but well, since you can you can do it, because yeah. you, well, you watch quite a bit of anime, so what, what would you say Ooh. is one of your favourite anime? Oh, it's got okay. a bit of Girl and Panzer. <laughs> Girls and Panzer. Okay, I mean, who's the um, most pathetic character? Uh, I mean, the characters in that one are all quite stand out, but who would be the most pathetic? Um, you can come then. Ooh. I'd probably end up sort of becoming there in that case, the one that I personally would be... Least, would be my sort of least favourite. I'd probably end up becoming like freaking Katusha or someone. Um, okay. So yeah. I wouldn't. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, but having me, said like, that, one of my favourite games is GTA Five. GTA Five. Now, now you've obviously played that. Yes. It was, it was really quite pathetic. Pathetic. Uh, uh, it probably would be one of the like, NPCs who walk yeah, around. Probably yeah. Probably one of them. Blasted. Yeah. Indeed. You have to be one of them. Yeah. I don't think really I want to be one that really. No, you don't. No, I, think, I think this might be a will not. Yeah, it's a will not, I think, on this one, indeed. I was yeah. thinking as well, like, other games, I was thinking, like, Duncan Romper, but then you probably end up being, like, one of the, um, sort of, probably one of the least favourite characters in the whole series or something, so, yeah. Or, if you, like, from the first game, is it yeah. Sayori, she goes off first, and she? Um, Sayaka, yeah. That's uh, it, so I don't yeah, know. So you'd be hurt. Yeah. Well. I can think of other characters, though, from the first game who I wasn't as keen on. I mean, Sayaka was okay uh, what about as a character. Captain Claw. Captain Claw. <laughs> enemy. One of the NPCs. The level, yet, one, the level yeah. one enemies. Indeed. Yeah. Or like the bomb throwing rats that everyone just hates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or no, them. no, no. I know who's hate probably. Which character in Captain Claw is probably hated even more? The uh, the chameleons that go invisible and which are a real pain in the. Well, it's not backside. the most hated, it's the most pathetic. Most the pathetic. One okay, yeah. Really in that case. Hard, but probably, yeah. But yes, but we are enemies. in the majority here. Yeah. We are in the majority. There we go. All right. Um, 
God, I was, I was so sidetracked on that discussion. Your discussion turn. in my turn, that's right. I know we um, have a good one on that one. Actually, yeah. that's, that's a good one for the viewers. Viewers as well. See if you can answer that one as well. Would you yeah. want to be the pathetic character? Yeah. Indeed. When you die, you'll be reincarnated, but it will be in a third world country. Um, right. Okay. Okay. Uh, interesting. Um, so basically, you have to be reincarnated into a country that's kind of. Well, where there's probably like more poverty, more sort yeah. of social issues. I'm guessing that's what this um, conundrum's trying to get at. So, um, would you be reincarnated as, you know, with not much many clothes on, or you're living in a mud hut, or yeah, you're living in a kind of poor, deprived location, something like that? Or do you um, still have all your gear, but you can try and help them? That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. My kind of initial assumption was that you are basically a whole kind of new person. Um, you don't have anything yeah. from your past life or anything like that. So you'll be taking part in, in being poor and poor. Yeah, it's not yeah. a great existence. It's not, is it? No. Um, so, um, I mean, there's nothing there that necessarily says that you're necessarily born into like a poor part of that country. You could be very lucky. Um, yeah, that's but true. That's the thing. This is a lot of chance with it. Yeah, um, it's a chance, isn't it, really? Yeah. Personally, I'm inclined to say will not. Um, yes, I'm thinking with indeed. you on that one. That's will yeah. not that. Indeed. Uh, so we are in the okay. majority, just about, yeah. Okay. It's only been one time in the minority. Indeed, yeah. yeah. So you become ominiscent, which means all-knowing, you know everything, but you can't share the information with others. They hear or read gibberish when you attempt to communicate. Okay, so, <laughs> okay. Right. I uh, kind of basically could be like Cassandra from Greek myth, where I prophesize everything and all my prophecies are accurate and true, but nobody People believes me. People understand what you're on about. Yeah. So you could basically go... <laughs> Oh, this equals this, but but um, someone on the other side. Yeah, basically, he doing that. It's like the scene in Bruce Almighty where he uh, manipulates uh, what's he called? Uh, Evan yes. Alden. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in the yeah. Yeah. Well, the issue issue with you doing that is people could think you have. Oh, have you got a bit of a, a mental issue and it might take you away yeah. to an asylum? <laughs> Something yeah. a bit wrong with you. Yeah. There we go. Um, I mean. Yeah, I mean, what's the point of being omniscient if basically you can't sort of communicate that to the rest of Absolutely. humanity? Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Indeed. So if you if you're not sharing information with others, do you just talk normally? Sounds like it. When yeah. you when you don't become all knowing, because that yeah. could be uh, as as soon as you start doing something that um, something that's com- completely factual, you're just suddenly going to gibberish. That would be really weird. Just you sitting there, yeah. hey, how you do it? So. You can only basically talk in opinions. Yeah. It's hey, how talk. are you doing? You got to avoid. I like that. That's really good. But did you know that Wales? Well, <laughs> like that. Just like that. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That, no. again, you know, that's how Phil normally talks, isn't it? And ladies and gentlemen, Lelburn. There we go. It will not. It will not. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ooh, wow, it's very close that one. Um, well, again, we're in the majority. Only once. We're on a record here. Indeed. Yeah. On to you. All right. You can have one wish for anything you want, but. You can't wish for more wishes. Ah, oh, that's the bugger. I yeah. always love to do that for wish questions. Wish <laughs> yeah. for more wishes. Indeed. Um, yes. Hey, hey, still having one wish. You still have one. Yeah, mm, indeed. And there doesn't seem to be any um, other kind of information specified here. It's not like a monkey's paw situation where you wish for something, but it comes with like a cost attached to it. Um, yeah. Beyond simply not being able to wish for more wishes. It's not like monkey's I would paw be where you... <laughs> yeah. I would go for something like having a million quid. I would go for something like, is it possible we could uh, allow everyone in the world to come into lots of food? Yeah, uh, indeed. Yeah, but then the, an issue with that is if that if that does happen, it could turn everyone into a really fat. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly the curse of gluttony. <laughs> Uh, comes yeah. upon us. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever read the uh, Monkey's Paw, Phil? Uh, out of interest. Yes, WW w. Yes. Jacobs, whoever it was. Yeah. With a caveat every time you try to use yeah. a wish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, oh, I wish for a million pounds and then someone dies and you get their life insurance payout or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that happens in. Uh, I've told you about the film Absolutely Anything. Yes. Um, yeah. Like one of the, because that's the ability we get to do whatever we want. But one of the wishes is he wishes that everyone who was who was dead comes alive. <laughs> but basically, they it's people yeah. just come out of their graves. Indeed. Yeah. Mm. So, okay. Will not then. Uh, yeah, oh, oh. I think we will not. Plan. Yeah. Okay. Um, wow, well, we're people, in a real minority there. Wow, people are not seeing these caveats, are they? Really? Indeed. They want that wish. Yes. Well, there we go. So that will be another bean yeah. for us to eat. We've only eaten two beans though uh, over the yeah, course of I this know. half hour or so. So there you go. Right. Um, should we do maybe two more? Um, Let's do two more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, right. right. It's me, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so we master every co-op multiplayer local game ever made. Okay, but every word you type ends with an M. 
Uh, oh, it's an RM, that, actually. Uh, RM, sorry, RM. Yeah. Um, that's a bit right. weird, then. Okay, so... The issue there. Yeah. So we can basically make all the Call of Duties, the Battlefields, the mm. all of all of that sort of stuff, Left for Dead. Yeah. Um, Indeed. Uh, I mean, having said that, actually, looking at this, it seems to be very much focused on multiplayer games. So you master every sort of, like game that involves you know more than one player basically which for me i mean i pretty much spend most of my time doing single player anyway so that's not <laughs> yeah but yeah, and really. if you if you decide to go into a multiplayer game yeah. uh mm. doesn't say you have to type but every every word you type ends yeah. with R- rm and, and people could just assume english is not your first language yeah i think it's you, know, um, you don't even have to type like you say you could actually just use voice chat and all that so <laughs> yeah so yeah. i think it's an easy press the button press the yeah. button then okay we're going with that yeah. Uh, oh, that's oh, split 50, right 50. down the middle there. Well, that would be an interesting one if we were doing Bean Boozled. I remember we when, we did the, uh, when we did the uh, Would You Rather, when it when it was a draw like this, we would uh, spin another uh, wheel. Spin a wheel. For yes yeah. and no to take one. Yeah, oh, we yes. Would use wheel to side. Yeah. Indeed, that would okay. potentially be the third bean. <laughs> the funny thing was, we, we would always love the fact when it did the, the one that we wheeled into my mouth, the toothpaste and berry blue. Yeah, because that, that was usually fine. okay, by the way. Okay, final right. one. So you can yes. read at the speed of light but you can never finish the book or magazine etc that you're reading lots of bad things if you're reading at the speed of light you're not going to be taking anything in yeah and so i always like when i read a book to take in because you yeah. feel like you're on an adventure take your time yeah yeah and take you never your finish pace. the book well what's the point in that well it says you never finish the book but you could just read like right up to the very last word so effectively yeah. you've kind of got Oh yeah, all so of it. you can just make it up yeah you can make up the last word <laughs> indeed yeah but still reading at the speed of light that's it's a bit, yeah, it's a bit fast. Um, I'm not sure about that. Because um, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, you could I'd time say... it. It would be funny. It would be, you could time it. Yeah. Just basically uh, open the book, right, and then, and then go to your light switch and switch your light on. Oh, yeah. finished. There we are. <laughs> Done. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Imagine how many books you get through at that rate. But, would, like no. you say, would you really have absorbed them or have kind of taken it? Would, would you have really digested yes, nothing them? nothing saying you haven't absorbed Yeah, so you might not absorb it. That's the yeah. problem. Uh, and I like to thing. get engrossed in a book. Yeah, true, I do as well. So I think in that case, it sounds like it's going to be a will not, um, will not. on that one. So let's do that. And we're in ah. the majority. There you so go. That, so that, that proves that we would have only taken two beans, which yeah. is fantastic. And two, just imagine, possibly just imagine third, if those two yeah. had been the toothpaste ones. It yeah. would have been great, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. It would have been a lovely bean boozle challenge if that was the case. Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for uh, so joining me there, Phil. Do. When we do that, when I come around, we do the bean boozled. We we co- we have to think. Yeah. With the majority of people, not Indeed. ourselves. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, true. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the gauntlet's been thrown down. So next time Phil uh, is yeah, with me, gonna do um, we're going to do, do that. <laughs> Don't know when that'll be, but uh, we're going to put that down as something to do. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, this episode, everybody, and uh, leave your thoughts down in the comments if you want to on uh, any of the conundrums uh, that we've uh, read out in this uh, particular video. Uh, thanks for especially joining me, Phil. that one with the um, uh, favorite movie, uh, yeah. favorite game, favorite anime. That and, one. And would you want to become the most pathetic character? Yeah. Well, there you go. So, Facebook, Twitter links down below, along with the link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. <clears throat> I just cleared my throat. Uh, if you enjoyed, if you don't forget, do leave a like. It's always appreciated. But other than that, this is the two of us signing off now. So, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Across the bridge. Right. Well, that was short, but this one should now be open, right? Yes. Okay. That's exactly what we were meant to do. Hello? God, there better not be a train this Where? Where? Where's it coming from? Uh, just go, go. No! Back up, 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 there's a bloody train, that's what's going on. Can I, if I do it like this?